Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take another look at the uh, Cinnamon Desktop. Now, I it, normally in the past I have not been a fan of the Cinnamon Desktop. My uh, pr my preference, uh, as far as desktop environments go, has been more towards XFCE and LXDE and Mate. Those are my the three that I have favored. And I had tried um, Cinnamon Desktop with uh, Linux Mint, uh, and I, for a variety of reasons, I wasn't really fond of it. Now, granted, I didn't give it a whole uh, long trial period. It just my initial reaction was that I didn't really like it, and I went back to XFCE. And I still really, really enjoy XFCE. But uh, the other night I was doing a um, Arch Linux install from scratch. And normally when I do that, I install usually XFCE and sometimes LXDE along with it. But for this particular install, I decided to go with Cinnamon. And so I, you know, I did a little research online to find out to make sure that I had all of the dependencies satisfied. And so once I did that, I went through the install, the Arch Linux install, and I installed the Cinnamon desktop. And that's what you're looking at here. I have to say that after living with the desktop for a couple days, I really like it. Um, let me show you now th I think the theming first of all living with it for a few hours and getting used to it that was the main the main reason uh, that I that I developed a little bit of a, a liking for it um, but also the theming now this particular theme I'll pull up the information on that um, Currently, I have the Elegance theme. My pointer is Adweta. Controls Vertex Light. Icons are High Color. Window Borders Vertex Light. So, that is what I am currently running. And that's, to me, it looks really good. If you look in the bottom right hand in the uh, system tray, I've got all of the normal utilities that I always run and there this this particular theming really really looks nice. If I add a uh, for example if I open up a browser um it just keeps adding these windows and they're highlighted and it just looks really really nice. Now one of the things that I did a little research on was editing the Cinnamon menu. And there is a program called Cinnamon Menu Editor, which I installed through Yawert. And if I bring that up, as you can see, it's very easy to modify the Cinnamon menu using this menu utility. Now, if we take a look at the menu, the cinnamon menu, you can see that I, I modified a couple things. First of all, I added a few items to favorites. This is the favorites bar. I added War Thunder, Steam, and Battle.net. However, in the game section, I also added War Thunder, Steam, and Battle.net. And I did that through this menu uh, configuration utility. So if you want to add an item to the configure to the, to the menu configuration, it's just a matter of opening up the menu editor. And for example, when I wanted to add BattleNet to the games category, I went to Wine, Programs, BattleNet. I highlighted it. I clicked Copy. Went to Games, and I clicked paste. So that makes it very easy to adjust 
the uh, menu configuration. And using this menu configurator, you can uh, basically set up the menu exactly the way you want it. Now, uh, this is a plain vanilla Arch install. Uh, I did try cinnamon in Manjaro. It's very nice. I didn't set it up this way, um, but you very well could. There's nothing to stop you from setting up uh, Manjaro cinnamon exact to look exactly the way I have it. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to pause the video. I'll be right back. I'll be in the Manjaro cinnamon desktop, and we'll do a quick comparison. So don't go away. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back guys. This is the Manjaro Cinnamon Desktop. Currently with this uh, theme I have uh, Window Borders Vertex Maya, Icons Fianza Dark, Controls Vertex Maya, Mouse Pointer Simple and Soft, Desktop Vertex Maya. I'm going to retheme it. Uh, to the way that I preferred when I set up my plain vanilla arch install and I'll be right back and we'll take a look at the difference be right back guys okay welcome back so I rethemed the Manjaro version and as you can see there's really virtually no difference between the Manjaro version and the uh, plain vanilla arch install uh, I have the exact same menu uh, and theming. Take a look at the themes. Vertex light, high color, vertex light, add weta and elegance. So everything is the same. Everything looks the same. Uh, to me it's really a terrific look. Now also in Manjaro Cinnamon menu editor is available out of the box. And if I spell it right, it would be better. So there is the uh, menu editor. Works exactly the same way. You can have virtually complete control over your menu. And uh, there is an applet called its menu configurator. I tried it. It does not work properly. Uh, but this look is very, very nice. And I'll, I like the functionality of the cinnamon menu. You've got the shut down, log out, lock the screen, a file manager, terminal, hex chat, uh, the system settings, and Firefox. Now this is the way Manjaro sets it up. Using the menu configurator you can change all of that. That's not no big no big deal. You can change your uh, your all your menu listings, move menus to a different category, create a new category, so you've got virtually complete control over your uh, menu and I always preferred XFCE I thought XFCE was a little bit simpler easier to to navigate but in actuality cinnamon is just as easy uh, I can see why cinnamon has the large legion of fans that they do so uh, guys I wanted to uh, do this video just to get reacquainted with the cinnamon desktop if you haven't used it I would recommend that you give it a try it's really really nice so that is it guys uh, thanks for stopping by the channel please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon take care